Well, in the 1980s, HIV and AIDS was a medical mystery that really was considered a death sentence. Improvements in treatment have since extended the lives and the quality of lives for so many patients. And now a man who saw his friends back then dying and stepped up to help. Years later, he's still involved and he's seen similarities between how AIDS was handled then and how COVID-19 is being handled now. Alex Ositis is on your side tonight with that perspective. Vinny Andrade was a college student in New York in 1989. He watched his friends die of AIDS and felt hopeless until he stepped up to volunteer. I was going to travel and, um, and then people started dying left and right. It was like just a horrendous situation. Like I lost all my friends. And um, so at that point I knew I have to do something. Andrade is now a case manager for the Northeast Florida AIDS Network. His day to day is checking on clients of the nonprofit making sure they have enough food, they can pay their rent and utilities, and when they can't, network helps out. Just ensuring that, that there's a continuity, that, that we continue to show the concern and the care that we have for uh, the folks we serve. Greta describes the COVID-19 pandemic as deja vu. He remembers a younger doctor in the news during the AIDS crisis, a New Yorker like himself who took charge, Dr. Anthony Fauci now a leading member of the coronavirus task force. There were great demands being made at the time, and I remember he held up very well. And I realized, boy, if he held himself so well back then during the stress, I know that he's stressed once again. In decades serving HIV AIDS patients, Andrade has tried to stay positive and act fast. That's why Andrade's had COVID-19 safety talks with NFAN clients and stayed in touch with doctors. Reporting, Alex Osiris, First Coast News, on your side.